My name is uh, Scott Norberg. I'm an associate research physician at the National Cancer Institute. Uh, and today I'll talk about my clinical trial uh, testing uh, therapeutic HPV vaccine in patients with recurrent respiratory papillomatosis. So RRP is a chronic lifelong disease caused by chronic infection with HPV 6 or 11. It results in uh, the growth of benign tumors in the uh, upper and lower respiratory tract. These tumors cause uh, airway obstruction and shortness of breath in patients, also can lead to vocal uh, dysfunction, and in some patients, invasive cancer. The current standard of care treatment is surgery in order to remove the papillomas. This can lead to substantial morbidity for patients, including scarring of the larynx and trachea, and also financial toxicity, uh, not just on the individual patient, but as the healthcare um, treatment, uh, the healthcare in general. So unfortunately, there's no systemic treatments. We have uh, developed and are testing a therapeutic HPV vaccine caused PRG, called PRGN2012. This vaccine is designed to elicit a HPV 6 and 11 T cell response in order to eliminate uh, papilloma infected cells. We presented our data from a phase one, two clinical trial where patients underwent an initial standard of care clean out surgery, followed by four administrations of PRGN 2012, given on day zero, 15, 43, and 85. So over a three month uh, treatment course. We looked at safety and whether or not patients were able to avoid having further repeat surgeries in the 12 months following treatment. What we found is that PRGN 2012 was safe and well tolerated with only mild grade one to two adverse events, akin to what would be seen with a seasonal vaccine, such as injection site reaction, chills, and fever. And remarkably, with the 35 patients that we treated in the uh, recommended phase two dose, we saw a greater than 50% complete response rate, which meaning those patients didn't require single intervention in the 12 months following the one-time treatment course. We hope to be able to continue to further develop this therapy. It's really is a novel um, systemic treatment in a disease population where it currently is unavailable. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.